Uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now, uh, last time around, uh, I was plumbing in tracks for uh, uh, some plastic production, right? Now, I didn't quite get to all of the connection points. I still need to connect this here um, uh, chemical plant. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, so let's get on. Let's get cracking with that. Uh, so I'm going to do a sort of interchange thing because we're only going to have uh, trains coming into the chemical plant coming this way and then going back out this way. And because of that, uh, we can actually make use of this bridge and uh, run a uh, line around without having crossing traffic. So, uh, I'm just taking a look here. Let's uh, take a look at the ugly. Um, right, so we have to go down a fair bit to get there. So, that could be challenging. So, I think I'll probably come around the town this way. Maybe. Might be better to come around that way, though. Well, let's just uh, take a look at uh, how much uh, how much uh, um, height we can gain. Um, we can gain just barely in. We can't gain enough going that way. So yeah, we do need to come around this way just to gain more uh, more climbing room. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a uh, cargo station in there. Only needs one, uh, one track for the moment. And I'm going to see about putting it in this way. Can, can I get a, uh, oh, I can get tendrils that way. Well, let's put it in that way. Oh, I can turn the ugly off now. Um, Okay, so this is the Mayberry chemical plant. So we'll make this also the Mayberry chemical plant. Yep. Good. Okay, so that's uh, up a little bit higher than it was for the other. Um, okay. Now, um, let's just see here. Can I get uh, tracks... Oh wow! It uh, it definitely is a uh, rapid ascent. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to end up uh, having to do this anyway, so I'll just tighten the corner here. This is freight. It can be slow if it wants to. Um, Okay, that gets us up a fair chunk of the way. Now, I think that gets us up almost enough. Okay, so we can come around on this angle. Again, with maximum up bubble. Um, and we can come through here. Um, oh, it, uh, it locks there. Oh, okay, that's a convenient spot for underground, so uh, we'll just go with that. Now, I think I'm going to have to take that out. Well, it doesn't matter if you have to or not, you did. Well, yeah, I kind of did. Now, aha, that can definitely get up there. Um... Viaduct might be the way to go there, so I'll uh, I'm gonna lengthen this up past the existing signal. I'm doing that just so that the train can potentially be moving a little faster when it merges, but you know it uh, doesn't necessarily need to be. Um, and I'll take the diverging bit after the uh, existing signal here. Uh, so we need to uh, go off to the side, and we need to come around underneath. 
Um, ah, that's interesting. If I do that, no, no, that, that doesn't work so well. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do this instead. Yeah, that will definitely be better. Then we can come along here. Aha! That works better. Um, well, sort of. Uh, that is not uh, connecting nicely. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I come in like this... Then I do this. Yeah, I get a slow uh, bend there, but I get uh, something sensible for the uh, bridge pillar there. Uh, but I think I can uh, make that uh, a little less bad by just rebuilding it. Uh, like that. Yeah, it might be a little less bad. It might not be. Uh, okay, now... This needs to come around to the station. Right. Yeah, this uh, sharp bend business is pretty much unavoidable when you have uh, the steepness of this map. I might do another map in the future that's less steep. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I might, uh, just to uh, reduce some of the challenges. Anyway, this looks nasty, but I'm going to, uh, um, actually, I think I can possibly make this better. Um, maybe not. If I do this in one go, yeah, it's a little bit better of a swan neck. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need to, uh, whoops, fling a, a signal or two at this. So we'll definitely need one there. Um, yeah, probably want to put one here, maybe one back here, eh, maybe at the split point. Uh, I thought about rebuilding this as an embankment. I probably should. It'll probably look better. Uh, we'll put uh, a pair of them here and a pair of them kind of like this, um, back here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go and rebuild this this as a uh, embankment. Because I think that will be uh, looking marginally better, or at least not egregious. So if I do this, yeah, I'll, I'll do an embankment there. Okay, uh, I still need the uh, signal about here. Okay, so that gets uh, that, uh, that connection. So what's going to happen, I guess, I need to uh, plumb in some lines. So uh, I guess we can come from a uh, oil well to, hmm, hmm, so I could bring... You know what? I'm going to run separate lines and separate trains on all of these just because of the slight complexity of everything. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I don't have to. Um, as I could come from this one up to here and then go all the way back to a chemical plant. I could. Then I just need to put a connection around this way so the return train can get in there well you know i think i guess that is a sort of reasonable thing to do if we can make it happen which we can't no we can't too much slope Yeah. 
Yeah, we can't do that. Not from that one. Okay. Uh, we could, well, we could definitely get something here. Yeah, we could. Because if I did this, I'm pretty sure I can wang this around here. Like, say, this. Yeah, pretty sure I could. Um, okay, so I bring this around. Yeah, I could uh, put a uh, connection around this way. Um, well, yeah, I guess I should double slip those. Yeah, okay, so that one... I could do a single line from here up to here and then down to a chemical plant. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. So I'm going to I'm going to uh uh do the uh thing here. This goes up to here. And then down to... where is it? Here. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that I can live with. Okay. So this is the cargo rail, Beacon Hills oil well, amber, oil refinery, Mayberry chemical okay and then I'm gonna need this line so new line here to here yep okay and that's cargo rail amber oil well to amber oil refinery good uh, okay so that gets that now, coming down to this one. Where's the other oil? There's the oil refinery. So we're coming up from down here. This one. And this one. This one will be easier to do a, uh, a bend, I think. Um... I don't think either one will be, actually. Hmm. This might be better to do as a couple of... Uh, as, as separate lines. Uh... Maybe? I don't know. Um... Well, let's uh, let's see what I can do here. Uh, I can bring a uh, track off here. Uh, so if I try this, now question is, can I get this to? Oh. I can actually get it to the tunnel to link up. Okay, that's good. So if I do this, and then I do this, right, and then you can in fact double slip switches in tunnels. So I will do that. Now, uh, I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to see if I can uh, plumb that together. So uh, that's going to be a new line. And we're going to go from the Bedrock Oil Well to the Utopia Oil Refinery down to the Danville Chemical Plant. Well, that looks like the line uh, functions. So... Yeah, I guess uh, 
I guess we're laughing. Cargo rail, bedrock, oil well to Utopia. Uh, oil refinery to Danville Chemicals. Right. So far, so good. That will uh, allow that one to operate. Now there's one more, which is this one to this one. Yeah. So that's going to be... Cargo Rail, San Angeles Oil Well to Utopia Oil Refinery. Okay. Well, that uh, that theoretically uh, gets uh, gets that that side of the uh, equation plumbed up. Uh, ultimately, I'm going to need to get the uh, plastics going somewhere. Um, so that's going to be a little bit of a uh, challenge as well. I know that over here we have a uh, goods factory which needs steel and plastics. So. Let's just uh, check in on the uh, industries and we'll uh, look on requirements and we have two goods factories, one at Metropolis and one at Cityville. Where's Cityville? That's the Cityville one and Metropolis is over here. So I have to get the plastics up here. Ooh. Oh. 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 That's going to be slightly challenging. Yeah, that's definitely going to be slightly challenging. Well, why don't we fling a couple of trains at this? Um, we're going to need a depot. Yeah, 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 you really are going to need a depot. Yeah. Um... Why don't I fling a depot over here? Uh, I could do this. Um, fling a depot on here. Yep. Okay, so what are we going to run on here? Well, we're going to buy vehicles. We're going to run them diesel. Now, the SD40 is pretty powerful and it's probably worth using here um, and it's uh, okay now this one is way weaker yeah we'll use the SD40 now we're gonna need tank cars and I think it's that tank car we want to grab We'll stick 10 of them on there, I think. Yep, we'll stick 10 of them on there. Uh, so we'll, I'm going to need four of these if I'm going to cover all four routes with a single train each. And that's what I'm going to do initial, initially, just so I, I can have trains running on them. I think we have enough cash coming in that, uh, that we don't need to worry about uh, the uh, trains losing money. So... Yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, get a window open for that one. Uh, now, actually, I probably don't need to. Set line. We'll make this the amber oil well to the amber oil refinery. And we'll make this one the... Uh, the other one up there and we'll make this one the uh, what was it uh, it was why can't I remember bedrock um,
San Angeles, right. So we'll stick that one on there. And this one will stick on the... Uh, this one, I think. Yeah, I think that's the one. No, it's not. Um, it's the other one. Yeah. Okay. That one is a longish one. Um, Okay, so we're actually at 20 minutes here. So uh, I'm going to actually uh, set up, get this, uh, these trains uh, uh, moving, and then we'll ride the uh, Bedrock uh, Utopia Danville one. Uh, these trains here have to all get out on the uh, line before that, uh, that is particularly worth jumping on board with. But, uh, uh, okay, well, if we uh, up-tempo this, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so we'll let it uh, chug along here. Um, I'm hoping the upcoming update that uh, they have planned, uh, which brings Mac OS support for uh, Transport Fever 2, uh, would will uh, improve performance on uh, Linux as well and uh, Windows probably uh, is they're not just bringing an update for Mac OS they're bringing an update for the other platforms as well uh, I believe they're <clears throat> they're bringing a Vulkan uh, rendering pipeline which uh, okay now we can get on the train uh, which may or may not improve things, uh, but the fact that uh, to do that, they probably had to rewrite a fair chunk of the rendering stuff. That may have allowed them to clean out cruft or whatever that was preventing them from improving performance previously. Because the game actually seems to drag a lot more than it should uh, for uh, the horsepower that people have on their systems. So... Hopefully, they can uh, improve things quite a bit uh, uh, with the upcoming update. I'm not uh, holding out, uh, you know, like holding my breath or anything, uh, but hopefully they've managed to identify some of the, the uh, major uh, uh, choke points and uh, improve them. Although, contrary to what you'll find on the forums, there are people insisting the game can only ever use one, uh, one thread or one core, or two cores uh, on a uh, system, that's not true. Uh, on my system, I've checked it. I have four cores, and it runs uh, at uh, uh, above 300% uh, much of the time, which means that uh, it's using more than two cores. That You just uh, can't get around that. Uh, if it's running at 300% of a core, it's using at least three, it's using three quarters worth, right? So it definitely supports, at least the underlying code supports multiple cores. It's multi-threaded enough to do that. Uh, however, uh, that's uh, just one of those, um, those things, right? People just in make these assertions, they read it somewhere and they just keep asserting it, right? And that's, uh, that's where things go off the rails in discussions about about things right uh, that's an you know and, and that's another thing too is uh, uh, people will uh, be giving advice on the uh, forums right and they'll say well you have to you have to connect the entire chain or it's uh, it'll stop uh, delivering like the first step will stop uh, transporting anything initially you know like, or after a while uh, but that's the way transport fever one behaved transport fever two doesn't work that way so you don't actually have to complete the delivery to have at least some goods moving. Um, uh, but people are still insisting occasionally on the forums that that's why somebody's line setup isn't working. 
and it's usually something else like uh, uh, the station somehow is disconnected from the roads so it is not in catchment of an industry or whatever oh and by the way that's why I tend to uh, uh, place my platforms or my cargo stations or whatever uh, so that they uh, directly uh, tendril to the industry because then I'm not be uh, then I can't accidentally have a road setup come along and screw up the uh, like a road change by the AI come in and screw up the connection which sometimes happens right so that's uh, that's that's one of the reasons I do that occasionally it's not practical to do that but uh, sometimes it's uh, it, sometimes it is right so we're heading for the Danville chemical plant why it started at the uh, end of the line I don't know is it should be able to get to the uh, oil well from that uh, that um, uh, depot overall so far the uh, track has looked okay We're trucking along nicely at 100 kph, so, you know, that's not too bad either. Uh, yeah, the SD40 with its extra grunt means you only need one, where you might need two GP9s or something like that. And that's, uh, that's kind of why I went with it. This is a long tunnel. This is a very long tunnel. Ah, here's our uh, underground junction that we made last time. And you can see what I've done here. Uh, you can see you don't get weird uh, tunnel walls uh, poking into things by having it uh, set up that way. And that's why I did that, so that it looks less bad when, uh, when riding the, uh, the train. And out of the tunnel we come, and this will be the divergence point for Danville, right? Oh no, this is the other one. Right, that's the uh, divergence for the other uh, operation. wonder if they can get uh, tunnel rendering to avoid having that bright light at the end of the tunnel all the time uh, so that it actually goes dark properly uh, probably not uh, that's that's a uh, level of detail distance thing there but they could could arrange it so that the level of detail of the tunnel itself renders further away maybe not sure and here is where I was getting the uh, track type wrong when I was messing with things. But I think I'm going to leave it, you know. We can call that repaired track, right? I might be able to improve performance by going through and uh, decimating some of these forests. That might be worth doing. Okay, I think we're just about to the uh, end of this uh, line here. Okay. 
Okay, there's the uh, diversion to the other uh, other line. And that should be the one we take on the return journey. 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 We have to pop through one more tunnel, if I recall. And then we're looking at uh, the end of this particular line. Now, it is this is quite a long run here from the depot. Uh, so, yeah, I guess it's, it's not so bad, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, we got the viaduct here. And then we come into the station here. So this should be uh, uh, easy. It should be, you know, uh, sensible enough. And sure enough, we uh, connect in just fine. So I'm thinking uh, next time around I'll work on I'll start working on uh, connecting the uh, uh, the uh, chemical plants up to the uh, uh, goods uh, tools whatever it was f uh, operations up over in the other corner of the map and that's going to be a little bit more challenging than uh, than this bit was. I'm not sure how that connection is going to work. Uh, I want to do it with the minimal amount of building of new track, but I'm not sure how minimal that can actually be. I'm going to have to study the uh, lay of the land to figure that out, I think. And I'm wondering if those two uh, factories are close enough. I can just run the uh, train deliveries up into a hub station and then truck them out to avoid uh, traffic jams up there. That's a possibility. I can't remember. I think they were pretty close. Okay, we should be just about to take the diversion. And here we go. We may have to slow down to do this, but uh, we're not crossing uh, traffic, so that uh, probably improves things on the north-south uh, or whatever it is, main line there. And this is just going on to the spur toward the... Uh, the uh, oil well, right? Bedrock. I wonder if uh, this line might be where we can connect across uh, with minimal fuss. Yeah, it might be. See, here's another one of those setups for the uh, uh, crossover thing. Uh, so as you can see, that gives you a nice clean tunnel. Uh, it's uh, not ideal but it gives you a clean tunnel without weird uh, artifacts from the uh, the tunnels coming together, right? Yeah, this is also a long tunnel. It, once uh, once I get the uh, plastics uh, connected up, uh, I can get steel coming out of that steel mill that we connected up. And then we can get, 
get some amount of um, of the end product going to say the local towns up there and then we can get uh, these lines over here really uh, trucking along this really is a long tunnel isn't it oh here we go there's the portal um, right this is a long side expedition to get to that oil well uh, Obviously, I picked the oil wells to connect up to places less than optimally. But you know what? It's fine. Okay, that's another uh, bit of tunnel here. This is what you get with a uh, mountainous type map. You get a lot of this sort of thing. Now, are we finished with tunnels for, for this uh, this bit now? I don't... I'm not sure. Well, we're going downhill into the valley now. Um, I don't remember what this whole affair looked like. Okay, we come through to the, uh, we come over the uh, other line, um, right, road and the rail line. I might be able to connect onto that, actually, and get up there that way. That might work. And we have a little bit of crude waiting. Not much, but we have a little bit. Yeah, see, this will ramp up when we get, uh, get the chain completed. And uh, that increases demands along the way. Well, that's 47. That's not terrible. Now we're heading for the oil refinery. So we come back up this track, and then we should go the other way at the split. So basically, I'm going to run this uh, this uh, train ride out up to the uh, the chemical plant or, or the oil refinery rather, and then uh, I think, uh, assuming the train doesn't get stuck at the end of that, uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll call it a part there. Um, that, this this is actually coming out quite nice. The uh, way the uh, layouts uh, coming together uh, I wonder if I'll be able to connect everything up uh, cargo wise before it starts lagging out too bad due to population uh, obviously I should have put a few fewer towns on here uh, but I didn't so there you go The problem is, when you're uh, making a map, the towns start out small, right? And because they start out small, uh, you get a false sense of how much space there really is on the map. Uh, at least that's my excuse this time around. Uh, it might be uh, fun to have uh, basically the same idea of a map with the same number of towns, but a larger map. Uh, so there's more space between them. Uh, that uh, that could uh, that could work uh, quite well. And also, I think the uh, map would have fared better if I hadn't had the uh, natural town growth mod in at the start, a and if uh, I didn't have the town connections uh, all 
all in from the start as well. So uh, that's something to learn for the future. I think this is the long tunnel. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's something to learn uh, for the next uh, next map. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that yet. It's still a little bit off. Uh, I do want to uh, see if I can avoid having the uh, uh, having the um, the series run into like 80 parts or something like that. Uh, is people really don't want to watch the same map with the same challenges continually. Uh, but, you know, it's it's hard to say. I, I'm going to, you know, I'll keep my eye out for a, a nice challenge or something like that. You know, I thought about doing, uh, taking the, the Colonel's Dune Canyon map and uh, giving it a whirl myself. Uh, but instead of using uh, the hub architecture he used, uh, is to, to do something a little more uh, uh, along the lines of bespoke routes between uh, industries and whatever. But uh, that's... Uh, that's a bit uh, harder to do than, uh, than it looks. I uh, looked around that map and the uh, industry locations are slightly inconvenient for doing that even more so than this one. Uh, but it might uh, prove an interesting challenge. Uh, it doesn't have trees, so performance probably shouldn't decay as badly. So, uh, so maybe, maybe I'll, uh, I'll give that a whirl uh, at some point and, uh, and see what happens, right? Uh, or maybe not. I'm not completely sure on that front. Um, how far up is the Utopia oil refinery? It's, uh, it's a fair way. Um, we've got to go all the way up past the uh, refinery, or the chemical plant split. Then, uh, then a bit further. I, I can't remember now. Uh, but what I want to have is, uh, in, in the, another map, is uh, longer distances where the trains are traveling between places. Uh, so it doesn't feel quite so cramped. And so the towns don't grow into each other, right? Uh, because when they do that, you just get this big, massive, conurbation, uh, agglomeration, uh, metropolis thing. And, uh, you know, quite frankly... It's not nearly as uh, fun looking, right? As you saw up in the corner of the map where we started here. Okay, this is the uh, chemical plant bit that we plumbed in today. Okay, so far so good. Uh, is it on the other side of this tunnel, or is there another tunnel? I don't remember. Right, so you can see again from this angle that that, that method of making a crossover in a tunnel uh, gives you a much nicer look when you're riding a train through it. Now, it will work uh, if you do it some other way. Oh, look, another train. So that's cool. We've got traffic on the line. That, uh, that works. Yeah, this was, a, this was another long tunnel, as I recall. We're running through here at max speed, so, uh, you know, we can't really uh, go through here any faster in the train. 
Uh, and as you saw earlier, trying to up-tempo it didn't actually work. So uh, that's something I'm really hoping they can get a handle on. Because it really should perform better uh, than it does. Okay. Well, here we go. We're uh, heading off or off the main line for the uh, oil refinery. Where we'll drop off our 47 uh, crude and pick up, looks like, pretty close to a full load of refined oil. And here we go. So we'll wait for this to drop off and then pick up again. And then if we don't have any uh, uh, glitch, then, uh, well, that was two million. Uh, yeah, so if it was running full, we'd be uh, positive on that. Uh, so it looks like we're picking up 150 or 160. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's not showing uh, no path, so that suggests everything should be fine. All it has to do is get get back out, uh, get back out here, and uh, I, I've pretty clearly not messed that up. There's the other uh, train for the uh, refinery. Okay, well. Uh, so that, that part's working, so I'm going to uh, call it a part here. Uh, next time should be connecting this whole operation up to the uh, factories on the other side of the map. So uh, that's going to be all for uh, this time. So stay healthy, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, and see you back next time.